Hey guys, so here we are at the beginning of World... well, not the beginning, but it's, it may as well be the beginning of World 1-2. And I have shown you this very first part before. Uh, this is where the dragon is. You can see where these charred bodies are. That's where you need to stop. So you stop there, and then you run. And you don't stop running, because if you do, the dragon will get you. Uh, we will go and get those items eventually. But we gotta clear a path first. Let's kill him off. There we go. You, where did you come from? Oh, locked onto the dragon there. And what do we get? We get an unknown hero soul. And what did he drop? Ah, the wooden catalyst. Okay. And now this, I do believe, is where we're going to be killing the dragon. So we get our sticky compound bow, we get our arrows, and basically we're notching an arrow, we're waiting for the dragon, and we gotta make sure that I'm hitting him come over here. I think the easiest way to do it is to get him in the wing. I've done this for a while. Oh, there we go. I hit him there. Right, I'm going to do this. It's going to take me an age. Don't want you guys to have to see it. Uh, but I'll catch up with you when it's done. Oh, good grief. So, there you go. Uh, he is down at last. Thank God for that. That's going to make me too slow. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, so the dragon won't bother us anymore. We can actually go back and get the items uh, that we didn't get earlier. That has taken me about eight minutes or so to do, just in case anyone was wondering. It is a, a lengthy process. Ah, uh, that's a guaranteed item, by the way. That's that's just there on the floor, the winged sphere. So if you don't get it as a drop in World 1-1 like I did, you can get it there. Although it is tough to get, uh, unless you want to suicide or unless you kill the dragon. Now, you will have seen me uh, actually hitting the dragon twice. With every... Uh, you know, whenever he was, he was there. And, and the way to just to do that is to hit him as soon as he lands. And then uh, take another shot at him. Just, it's just sort of right as he is, he's below you, just before he rises up. It, it'll take a while to get the timing down on that. Oh, spike shield, that's nice. Uh, but you can hit him twice. I've come out with plenty of arrows. Uh, which is always a good bonus. And yeah, I do. I do actually much prefer two-handing my weapon. Uh, well, when it's, a sh when it's a spear anyway. Uh, got these guys up ahead. Hit me. A lot. I really wasn't expecting to get. Oh my god! All right, can't believe your dragon. No problem. Oh fucking hell! That's good. It's a thorough waste of any items I might have wanted. Uh, grab these bolts. A couple of Usains there. You know, Olympics have uh, just finished. This is the Monday after the Olympics, in case you were wondering. I'm sure you weren't, but I, you know, it's a, a compound short bones and arrows from there, in case you were wondering. Uh, yes, there are stairs leading down. <laughs> There's a dog there. That was crazy. Uh, we'll be going down there a bit later on. 
just after we've cleared out this last bit of path here. Um, if the dragon is here while you're doing this part, uh, then you need to stop here. This is roughly where uh, the dragon will start breathing fire. So you stop around this cart and then you can start making the run for it. Oh my god, the guard break with this is so rubbish. I wasted so much hardstone upgrading it. I'm sure you will all agree. That was a total waste of my time. Uh, Arch is up there. Uh, luckily though. Oh no! Alright, oh, one sec, let me plug this in. Phew, there we go. There's so many cables and stuff lying around in front of me. Ah, uh, let's switch out. Let's... yeah. How much strength does that take? Eleven. I could actually use that. Guard break is rubbish, though. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Let's heal up. I'm going to farm these two to try and get the Knight Shield a bit later on. I'm going to die if I'm not careful here. Yeah, I need... I do, I'm going to have to sort this shield situation out. Uh, let's two-hand the weapon. Crystal Lizard up here, I do believe. Where do you think you're going? Two large shards of sharp stone, okay. Not bad. Get the last few items out here. So, a stone of ephemeral lies. Uh, renowned soldier's soul and soldier's lotus off the uh, crossbowman. And also, unknown hero soul. Last but not least, another bit of... Ah, uh, so Royal Lotus. Royal Lotus, I think, is poison. I think that's the way around. Uh, these chains, yeah, you can't, you can't break these chains. I've tried many, many times to do that. We're not quite done, though. That is the boss through there. But we have, if you'll remember, it's quite a few episodes ago now. Ah, but our Strava we see at the very beginning of this level, just after the first few hoplites, hoplites of the air, uh, little slug things, slimes with shields. I'm going to put the purple flame on. Yeah, uh, whatever. I know it's a piece of shit, but I'm going to have to use it. At least I've killed one of those dogs. So we be careful. Actually, hear the dogs. Yeah, there they are. Can't hit them on these stairs, though. Oh, two in one. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hello, buddy. So we can kill him. A merchant here. Good day, mostly. Didn't show you this this guy in World One One because I took the shortcut. Uh, he sells a couple of interesting things. Uh, Longsword, quite good. Short spear, not bad. Uh, soldier's shield, I think, is okay. Oh no, it's not got full full physical block on it. Uh, and the plate armor, which the knight class starts with. Hard times, I'm sure you'll... Okay, I'm going to head back the other way because there are enemies to be killed. More dogs. Do get to kill one. And two. Okay, I think that's it for the dogs. I think there's just the five of them in total. Which is actually a lot. Uh, when you consider how dangerous they can be. What is that on the floor? Oh, that's... 
the guy's dead. Why is he just dead? Sorry if you can hear like a banging. There's someone doing like construction work outside, and I can hear it. I can hear dogs. I didn't think there were any more dogs here though. They might have just put the noise on to uh, scare me. Or scare anyone. Yeah, that sneaky guy there. I think there might be another one. Nope, no one there. Yeah, crossbow guys. Seeing the advantage of the shield uh, and spear combo. Uh, Ring of Gash resistance, if you're English, Gash is there. Uh, yeah, that, that's not necessarily something you want to be resistant to. Thank you. That makes twice. Ah, oh, so yeah, Ostrava Thanks here. To you, I can now forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Give us some Dark Moon Grass, that's a very powerful healing item uh, that we aren't going to need. Let's just fully heal up and we'll uh, we'll take this path. This is actually a good way of avoiding the dragon. If you have no intention of killing it, then just take this path. Uh, underground, safe from the dragon, only have to avoid him uh, at the first stop and the last. I actually think I've come up one too early, but it doesn't matter because everyone's dead. Yeah, I think I've definitely come up way too early. Oh, way, way too early. Good grief. Mm. But straight on to the boss now because we've done everything we can on this level. And killing that dragon is going to increase our world tendency by one. Which means that for world uh, one, this archstone... We are now at plus two world tendency. And if we can kill the Tower Knight, who is our next opponent, then we're going to be on plus three, and that's going to put us into pure white, and we can do some interesting things from there. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we've still got a, a pretty tough boss ahead to try and take on. I want a cutscene. <laughs> oh, this guy is weak to magic. Um, he's he's not too tough, but I can see him giving me trouble. Uh, that you could see happening just then. That's, uh, that's his ranged attack. It's, uh, it's like a magic spear. Can be very harmful. I can't hit us while we're down here though, so we're safe. We've got to take care of these archers, obviously. We don't want them I'm trying to fuck shit up for us while we're killing this guy. We want a nice clean one-on-one -on -one fight. Uh, you can actually kill this guy from up here. I could equip my bow and shoot him from range. And probably not take any harm at all. But I, I don't think I'll do it that way. The thing I'll probably end up doing is two-handing my spear. And doing it that way. You know, fighting him like a man. I could aim at these guys and I would probably yeah, make it a bit easier. Hmm, I'm nearly done then. Is there another guy outside? There might be. Yeah, there is. Well, that was a bit close. We can back up here uh, should we need to do it. So I think I'm going to try this out. See how we get on here. Weapon tracking is actually pretty good here with this guy. And that did not go to plan. I'm going to have to go back up. 
uh, do some healing and rethink this. I'm gonna have to switch shields, that's just not gonna do it. I can at least use the spike shield. <laughs> God. Does the spike shield actually do 100%? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, that's, that's the best we got. <laughs> the idea, then, is to run around this guy because he's slow. Uh, but he can can hurt when he hits, and uh, well, you can see that. Uh, so yeah, I should probably be two-handing actually. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna do that. Uh, so it's sort of like the Iron Golem fight, except he's got a big shield. And you can't call in the awesome uh, Iron Tarkus. I love Iron Tarkus. He's my like my hero. Possibly a bit risky doing that. Might have been a waste of the last one, but we got turpentine to use should we need it. It really landed on me then. That's good. Okay, we come around, we get shot in the head now. There we go. What the fuck? He's alive. Now he's dead. Now he's dead? Good grief. He must have had like one health left. Okay. God, I was a bit scared then. I thought he might finish me off. Uh, so you get... Yeah, we're back into body form again. Not for long, if I've got anything to do about it. And you'll see this here. Uh, maybe it's not going to give me the message just yet. No, we might have to come back for that. Oh, what was... what on earth? Now, anyway, that's the entrance to World 1-3, as I'm sure you guessed. Uh, a message should pop up saying a colourless fog uh, blocks the way. Uh, you know, it won't be removed until you've killed a primeval uh, demon or something. Something like that. I'm actually gonna... I'll, I'll go back to the Nexus and I'll come back and see what it says then. Let's take a quick look at the world tendencies. Oh yeah, it, I mean... It's actually a bit strange. It looks like the Boletarian Palace is less white than Stonefang, which doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, but let's actually let's level up. Yeah, while well, we've got the opportunity, I'd like to be able to carry a bit more stuff with me. Uh, let's get one more health, and then we'll get. There we go. Twenty-one dexterity. That's not bad. I still got quite a few souls. I'm going to go into one-one which is contradictory to what I was saying earlier. Okay, we're not going to do much here, uh, because we're nearing the end of the episode anyway. This is just for my own benefit. Oh, and see, yeah, okay, that gate is now open. That means we do have pure white world tendency here, uh, meaning enemies are going to be doing less damage. Uh, sorry, enemies have less health, or we do more damage. I can't remember which way around it is. Uh, but either way, it works out to basically the same thing. And also, uh, that gate is open. It's going to lead us to some stuff that we'll check out in uh, probably the next episode. And what else? There may be some other things. Uh, I'll have to check the wiki because I don't know what all the world tendency things are uh, for each world. But it does mean that enemies are more likely to drop healing items and less likely to drop um, upgrade stones, which isn't too great for us because I'm going to have to farm stuff from this world. Uh, which means that once we've done a couple of the world tendency stuff, I'll be decreasing the world tendency once again to increase my drop rates. Anyway, I'm going to end it there, guys. And uh, I'll just see you for the next episode. Goodbye.